Hello everyone, my name is Dave and this is the fifth video for a relaxing minimalist alien farm game I'm creating with my own engine using C++ and SDL2. In this video I'm going to start working on the animals. I decided to start by copying then modifying the code for the plants because they both start small then grow larger after a period of time. When the mouse is clicked, Animals are now added to the game at a random angle. However, all they do at this point is start small, then grow bigger. That's a great starting point, but they will need to be able to move around as well. A simple way to do this is to have a timer, which once expires, has a random chance to cause the animal to pick a point with a random angle and distance from its current position to move to. Once it reaches that point, the timer then resets and the process is repeated. To implement this, I set up some simple code that checks the animal's current state and updates it accordingly. The idle state has a random chance to move the animal to a random position. The move state moves the animal to its target move point, then stops it and switches back to the idle state. You can see how it works in front of you. It's a good start because the animals stay idle for a while and randomly start moving towards a nearby point that's randomly selected. However, there are a few main problems. First, its angle never changes. It would look a lot nicer if it rotated in the direction that it's moving. The other major problem is that it can overlap other animals, plants, and the water as well. It would make a lot more sense if the position was checked before or during movement to prevent these problems from happening. To make it so that the animal rotates towards the point it's moving towards, the main thing I did was to create a function similar to the update move function called update angle. It starts by determining the angle to the target move point, then rotates the animal in the correct direction, and also outputs if it reached the target angle this frame or not. When added to the game, you can now see that the animals rotate correctly, very nice. So that's one major problem down, however they can still overlap other animals, plants, and the water as well. I think this is a good place to stop for now, and I'll continue working on the animals in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.